All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys a setup that you can be using in Madden 25. It requires a C route, but you need to start taking these serious because even the pros run this setup. Before we get into it, drop a like, subscribe, become members, full scheme breakdowns in the members area. We have the updated wild trips pats, the bunch offset, which is based off the W scheme, the uh, dime three two, which is going to be crucial. And I think I'm gonna make the four three even six one because that one's brutal as well split twins now doesn't it have to be this formation but let me just show you what i'm talking about you're gonna need you see texas right here on our left side you're gonna need the c route like that okay pay attention and it needs to go the same distance that i'm gonna show you it's in bunch offset as well but let's attack cover three okay we're on the left hash what you want to do right you see how low this x route goes what you want to do is we're going to take b out of the equation and drag him all right, and then we're gonna take Y and put them on a swing route. So it will look like this right here. And this is, you know what, let me take a, I need to take a screenshot of that right there because I'm gonna use that for the thumbnail so you guys can actually see it. All right, so swing route with Y and all we're gonna do is read the guy that's supposed to play the flat. If he drops back, then we hit the swing route. We get our yards. It's one of these plays you can always come back to because what hap what's gonna happen is in like that cover three, if they play the hard flat, the B route gets open. So let's go ahead and snap the ball here. He goes down, X. I'm gonna show you guys that, bro. That pass rush is insane in practice mode. Uh, it's it's really bad in practice mode, but in games, it's not that bad. Unless they're nano blitzing you. So right here, you'll see that this guy, you'll, you're paying attention to this guy right here, okay? On the, on the snap, you'll see the guy jet to the flat. It's a hard flat. This guy gets open underneath the third. So you see what I'm saying? Had I had the time, we just didn't have no time, bro. We didn't have no time to even wait for this. But this is what you're looking for right here, okay? You're going underneath or you're hitting the swing route. I'll, I'll try it again. Drag B, swing route Y, okay? Pay attention. He goes down again, boom. See what I'm saying? He jet down again, we hit the, 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 the C route. And it's gonna be one of those that you're going to need to use. Like it's gonna, it has to be a part of your arsenal. When he doesn't drop back, then it's Y, and then we hit the jukes and come around. And it's money anyway. You get what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're kind of leveraging the game to like 1v1. And we do this a lot. I haven't really used this kind of setup, but I'm going to start using it religiously now because I just see how powerful it is. He goes down, we get underneath, and you'll see it. You'll see it there now. I'll show you guys. The pass rush didn't get to us there, but I'll show you, okay? Um, as far as making C routes, you can make your own C routes. But look at the outside third. Doesn't even care about playing it because he's too low. Now, there are match principles in outside thirds with certain cover threes that he will, but he still treats it like man defense and cooks it. That's the thing. You see what I'm saying? This route's gonna cook whatever. So we were able to get him right here. And that's that's all you're looking for as far as that setup goes, okay? One more time. Here, here, nobody there. Swing route, boom. And it's a grown man right there, professional, right? It's a grown man who's a professional in the NFL, can't make that throw. Again, he gets down, we get underneath that outside third, then it's the C route. Simple and easy to run. So simple, a caveman can do it. See what I'm saying? Boom, then it's underneath. Now, what's cool about this play right here is that I can actually take me and streak him, right? And then swing route, and then I can look for my Texas on the right side, son. See what I'm saying? Why is this working the way I'm telling you? Let me show you why. The streaks on both sides are gonna force the hook curls in a cover three to respect, right? So that unless they're playing zone drops, which you're probably never gonna see that. Zone drops, right? These guys pull the hook curls back, opens the Texas. Now the user is gonna have to sit low or he's gonna worry about what you can do in that cover three, which alternatively is you saw how A attacks. You can actually streak A then streak B, right? And try to look for a window of opportunity. You feel me? Now, if you have a good tight end like Kelsey, you might catch that. You can even look to the left side, but if it's a match, you're gonna get kind of cooked, man, if you're not careful. That guy got bumped, so I can't do nothing about that. So, like I said, just different variants and different ways. You don't really, you wanna tra uh, attack cover three. I like to attack it on the seams in a trips formation, right? Or an empty formation. It's a lot easier than having to do it from a formation like split twins. It's, it's actually harder. Um, unless, of course, you, uh, you're you taking RB, right? And you're putting him like on a streak or a wheel. So you can actually try to put him um, streak, maybe even motion him out, right? And then you can run your streaks. Maybe take Y and make it look like this. See what I'm saying? 
and now you can try to go or you can go underneath here or try to hit your seam routes depending on how the cover three is playing your formation and your play uh, but like i said you do have the rb route which is going to be crucial boom you probably sub in this guy for another halfback or flip him however you want to do it it depends on how you want to roll okay remember that now the zig route on this one right here i, I don't I don't really like the way it's designed this way. Uh, I would probably never use it, but to each his own, you could probably do it. Let's try this against cover two and see how the player reacts versus the cover two. Because remember the soft squats and the cloud flats, they play a little different. They'll play both at the same time if you're not careful. Um, but let's just try a Tampa two and see what we get away with. So let's go to a pass formation, which is like nickel three, three over Tampa two. And let's run the same setup, see what we get. He still drops back and you can get him with these animations, man. That's the thing is that you get people stuck in animations. They're going to get cooked. So you're seeing right there that the Y route is going to be the move right here. And then you want to be one this guy. And I mean, just look, at everybody as the game is just terrible animations baiting you into like pre like these are all predetermined animations just because I use the juke, bro. That's what makes this game like. Just predetermined animations for falls, bro. <laughs> Just because I hit the hit the stick, the guy automatically has to fall down because that's what he's designed to do. Um, yeah, and on the other side, the vertical hooks actually back up and so does the mid read. You're able to do this as well. So you'll have this play just cooking zone. It'll cook man because of the C route. A lot of different things. Let's try cover four quarters would probably be your hardest uh, to run this We'll do dime normal. Let's see what we get away with here. Here to here. There he goes. Yeah, see, cover four quarters is going to be the play that slows it down. Remember that. And I want to say that even taking this guy and putting him on a flat, right? So you'll have the table. You can still get him underneath there. But like I said, I, I wouldn't risk it. Cover four. It's not going to be the setup that you're going to want to use against against a cover four. So be careful with that. Um, I'll even try streaking B. Let's just see what we get away with here. Ooh, there it goes. There it goes. You're going to have to streak B versus that cover four quarters, man. So if someone's running match coverage on you, then send B at them. Matter of fact, and I'm thinking about it. Can we do that against a cover three match? Let's try that, right? Let's try a cover three match, like a cover three scene, and see what happens because I'm interested. Does the cover three jump back? What does he prioritize? Cover three match. We'll do it from the 425 over G um take b streak him and the y curl him let's see what the match does the match will sit low so it's a 1v1 right there okay so remember that that cover three match plays it different than the cover four quarters cover four quarters will let it go but this guy is going to actually play it so if you're going to see that right you're going to want to make sure that you're dragging b and getting him out of the way okay let's just force the issue here get him out of the way get that little 1v1 going we even have the 1v1s coming over the right side in a cover four or a cover three scene. So not bad. You're, you're cover three, and that's why I like to run. I love running cover three match because I know it messes with people's heads and stuff like that. But that's the play, man. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Use it because it is very important to understand that we blend this in with the rest of our schemes and stuff like that. So it, it, it definitely a money setup with these, these C routes. So the X route, the C route, definitely something you need to think about using because... They're very, very, very beneficial. Now, putting X on your own corner is not the same. Okay, look at the one that's stocked right here on this play. He's about what, the, or it's a 25, he's 36, right where it cuts. Now, if I put my own corner, boom. However, we can stem and bring him down. You see what I'm saying? Now we have that. So stemming him down. And then getting behind everybody. Boom. So you can actually do that from any formation if you can corner and then stem. You see what I'm saying? So use it to your advantage. Drop a like on today's video. Love you guys, man. Peace.